I like to work by feel. You know, when I tighten something, you know, by experience in the tip of your finger feeling and flying by the seat of my pants, I know when tight enough is tight enough. But now I'm working on the suspension of the car and I have to replace the lower control arm ball joint. Well, these nuts and bolts are pretty tight, so to speak. And when I tighten them, uh, I really want to be sure that they are tightened enough. Yeah, there's a cutter pin through a castle nut so they don't fall off, probably won't fall off. But it's a good thing to tighten it to spec. So we need a torque wrench. Now this is my cheap and basic torque wrench. It's a mechanic one. I've had it over 10 years or so. I used it a lot, dropped it a lot. Uh, but that still works very well. But I really need to be sure that it's calibrated. And every now and then you need to calibrate your torque wrench. It doesn't matter if you have a mechanical one, a expensive snap-on one that beeps and has an angle sensing thingy in it. Torque wrenches need to be calibrated from time to time. Now in this short video I would like to show you how I calibrate my torque wrenches. First you need a vise with some aluminum grips in there or if you have an old uh, socket you can clamp the socket in here in the grippy metal parts. Second we need a scale. This needs to be calibrated too but it's fairly simple. And over here I have a jerry can filled with five liters of water and that's benefit of the metric system. Five liter of water equals five kilos. I put this jerry can on the scale. It should read about five kilos. So let's hang it on there. And well, we're not far off. So I first have to adjust the scale. I can do so by this adjustment knob. Turn it a little to five. Et voila! Now we know that the scale is calibrated. Now as you can see, there's quite a lot of wiggle in there, but it's only in the ratchet mechanism, so that doesn't affect the precision of the torque wrench. Uh, the precision of the torque wrench is set in the arm over here. Now, so let's tighten the vise. Um, let's get you over here. Now the best approach is to calibrate torque wrench in the middle of its range. Let's loosen the lock nut. I'm gonna lower it down to its lowest setting. Now it's very loose already. Now this goes from 28 newton meters up to 210. So let's try about 126. That's a setting I usually use to tighten lock nuts. So it's mid-range. One rotation more, and we're at 126. And tighten this one. Okay, now it's time to do some math. Okay, I measured from the center of the socket to the end here on this ridge. That's 42 centimeters. Now I've done some math, and to get it clicking at 126 newton meters, I should apply exactly 30 kilos of force on this end here. You know, that's a scale is 30 kilo. Uh, let's pull it. That was too early, so we need to calibrate it. Let's try it once again. It's just 5 kilo shy of 30 kilos. Just to be sure. Yeah. So it's about time we get this calibrated. Now first I have to loosen the lock screw and screw it to its lowest position. This is about here. Now you can really feel it doesn't do much over here. Then loosen the coupling nut, which is this thing over here. Let me get you out of the way before I smack you in the head. Yeah, everything is quite loose. Now I went ahead and I took off this coupling nut that couples this part that pushes the spring to this rotating part that sets the torque. Um, by rotating this spring uh, you can adjust 
the precision of the torque settings. Let me show you inside. You can see there are those two tiny holes. I use this snap ring pliers to get in there and make fine adjustments. And that's what I did. Now let's test it. Put it back in the vise. I got it set back to 126 Newton meters, which should be 30 kilo before it snaps. Here is 30 kilos. And that seems to be spot on. Let's try it. It's just over 30 kilos. So now we did need to adjust it a tiny amount. Let's see if we can do that right now. Turn it a little. little bit more just a tiny bit you can immediately see it has some effect and now it's spot on at 30 kilos so now it's calibrated and we can put it back together put it in a vise like this and clamp it too tight let's treat it as the precision instrument that Kind of is. Well, let's put those tiny pins back in. Screw is back in. And now the coupler nut. And it's tight. So now we have a calibrated torque wrench and that's precise enough for our purposes. So that's how I do that.